pleased to be joined now by Eagles defensive tackle, Pro Bowl and all pro defensive tackle, Fletcher Cox, who joins me in studio here. And let's begin with the day of heat. How do you beat the heat out there? It had to be over 100 degrees, right? Yeah, uh, today was, uh, was really uh, one of the hottest days, basically, of training camp. And uh, you just had to prepare yourself mentally and just, um, just grind through it. And I know that um, you know, we only out there for so long, so we all had to get better. Does it, does it pay off down the line, Fletch, to have a hard training camp and to be kind of subjected to this kind of you know, both physical and, and long practices and, and this kind of heat? Down the line, do you feel it? Well, I think today kind of um, prepared us for the first game, you know, of the season because that game is played at 1 o'clock. So it kind of gave us a taste of, you know, what we'd be going through, um, basically um, how to prepare for it, for the heat. It was really unexpectedly um, today because all the other days of training camp, it's been a real breeze, you know, little, you know, cloud cover, and the day was like boom. So, uh, you know, everybody go out. They went out and, you know, we was mentally, mentally ready for it, and uh, we got through it. It's nothing for you. Mississippi State, Yazoo City. Come on, man. This is like a, this is like a cool day for you. It was. It was, though. I mean, it was. I mean, compared to the other days, like I said, it was a surprise. But compared to Mississippi Heat, it's got no chance. <laughs> hey, let's let's talk about football because things are off to such a great start for you and the Eagles defense. Uh, on Thursday night, you have the big sack. Now, you had a chance to work against somebody one-on-one. -on -one. This does not happen very often. And you made the Tampa Bay Buccaneers pay for it. Can you take me through the play? I mean, Coach always expressed, you know, um, winning the one-on-ones. And if, and if anybody got a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, that's the guy that got to win. So, I mean, apparently that player had the one-on-one. -on -one and, um, you know, I got off the ball. The guy kind of, you know, beat me to the spot. So I stayed on the spot. Um, and I always, you know, um, look at the football. Instead of really trying to get the, the hit on the quarterback, I saw him kind of drawing back. And I just went out to the ball and swatted the ball out of his hand. Was, did you make a move? Was it just a power move? It kind of it was, just, I mean, it was just, you know, just outside pass rush. Yeah. Um, and I seen the quarterback stepping up, so I just kind of reached around, turned my hips and reached around and, and swatted the ball out. Then the feeling you have when you feel the football in your hands, and then you see it loose and you, and you pick it up. Yeah, I thought I had actually, like, hit the ball thought, somewhere else. Okay. That's why I went to looking around. Then I looked down, and it was right there by my feet. I thought you were going to score. So, uh, yeah, I, I should have scored on that. They, <laughs> everybody gave me a hard time for not scoring on that, but... Uh, I mean, I got, got the ball and um, gave the offense, uh, put them in a real, real, uh, real good position to score. What's it like for you, Fletch, working again with Chris Wilson? You worked with him in college. Um, you, I mean, it's, is it just like what you kind of learned at Mississippi State in terms of hand usage and technique? Well, a few things changed the way that, um, um, the way that he, you know, he wanted us to, um, to get off the ball. Um, I, I, I say that's changed since, since, um, since college. But everything else, you know, being physical, um, being disruptive, all that, that stuff right there haven't changed. How is this defense coming along? I think we're coming along good. I think we still have a lot of room to grow. Um, it's going to start with us up front. Um, if, you know, if we want to be a great defense, then it's going to start with the four guys up front, you know, being disruptive, getting after the quarterbacks, tackles for loss, and let the guys in the back end cover. Is that mentality a lot different than what it was last year? Being yeah. disruptive, being chaotic, be causing a lot of problems behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, because it's, it's a whole different scheme now. Um, you know, we're not two gapping anymore. We're just getting off the football, um, creating, you know, just a lot of havoc in the backfield, making, making backs run, you know, sideline to sideline and not north, north and south on us. So I think that's going to help us a lot. And we got a lot of great guys in that room to get it done. Fletch, you ever think about where you've come from the start? Uh, you know, your career, your first round draft pick, you know, you've gone through three coaches here. Um, you know, you've gone through different systems, and here you are, no matter what the circumstance, you are playing great football. I mean, do you ever think about, boy, how this is going, even with all this other stuff going around me, I'm, I'm feeling really good about myself. Well, I think at, at each moment, at every time that, you know, that the coaching changes, the different defenses, I think at each, you know, every time that that happened to me, I just had to um, embrace every moment and take it in and, you know, and get used to being uncomfortable because, um, you know, I had to get uncomfortable to, um, to be in a 3-4 defense. So, you know, doing things that, you, that you've never done, you just got to embrace it, you know, get used to being uncomfortable and just attack everything. Are you ready for the regular season now, if it started tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely ready yeah. for the regular season. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> I know, I agree. What best part of training camp? What is it? Oh, uh, the best, the hidden. Okay. Yeah. You like, you like being in a physical camp? Yes, I do. I love it. The worst part of training camp? The, the long three-hour practices, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> well, but no, nah, it's all fun, though, man. You know, it just gives us a chance to, to um, be, you know, get real good condition for, for the regular season. How would you describe the camaraderie that this defense is building? I mean, there seems to be so much enthusiasm, and uh, the, the start on Thursday night was a great one. Yeah, I think, you know, it's a lot of new faces on the defense, and I think communication is really the key with everybody getting on the same page. All right. Well, keep up the good work, man. Keep uh, up. Oh, keep up the great work. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much, Fletcher yeah. Cox. Thank you so much for joining us in studio.